Man, episode 1093 of One Piece was absolutely pure heat. Our boy Law was turned into a woman. And within those few minutes of screen time, Law immediately became the number one female in One Piece. Blowing Nami, Robin, and Boa out the water. And I ain't gonna hold you. Law can get this will of D, I'm just saying. Bro, what did you just say? Aye, buddy, relax. I'm only kidding. Oh, and did you know my goal is to reach 100k? But before that, we gotta hit 50k so we can be... Halfway there! So if you enjoyed this video and my content as a whole, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to your boy. But if you're not rocking with your boy, hop off the boat because we moving. Now, I know y'all ready for this heat. So grab your golden Oreos and pink lemonade. Them shits fire. Now on with the heat. So after departing from the land of Wano, Law and his crew had stumbled upon Blackbeard and his crew. And Law was like, I'm with all the smoke gang. But for now, I'm a ducky. So they take off under the sea. But Blackbeard not trying to let them escape. Panning inside the ship, we see Law and bro started coughing. I thought he had corona. And at first glance, I'm looking at Law and notice bro hair seemed quite long. So I started getting suspicious. But Law tells his crew to surface to the northeast near land. So Law turns around and I'm like, damn, when did bro get so thick? So the cameraman gonna pull up with a vicious angle of Law Badungas. Sir, please. Sir. Oh, nah. Oda knew what he was doing getting Law wet like that. Or should I say Law dead? Cause bro a whole woman now. And immediately, bro overthrew Nami Rob and Ambo as best girl in one piece. And Shawty back there was questioning her sexuality cause she was the most excited. But yeah, quick rundown. The gang sex changes through contact due to the feminization disease that has been spread throughout their ship by one of Blackbeard's crewmen known as Doc Q. But Law's built different, quite literally. And he starts to power up, flexing the hockey, reverting himself back into a man. As well as his crew. And with that, Law and his crew heads ashore. With Blackbeard's crewmen Von Ogre and Burgess pulling up right behind them. And Burgess started to lift an entire mountain and chunks it at Law and Gang. But Law being a clutch playmaker, he makes light work of it. But oh no, nah. Blackbeard starts to pull up. And Law's like, oh no, nah. why are you here? And man, Doc Q and his horse is really going through it. But yeah, Blackbeard's like, I knew either you kid or Straw Hat was gonna come through here after departing the land of Wano. Okay, hold on, cause now let's be for real. Bro really just acting, cause ain't no way Blackbeard really thinks him and his crew is built to take down Monkey Diaz and Dog. Luffy's crew. Like, let's be honest here. We got the big homie Usa to handle Von Ogre, Zoro, Sanji, and Jinbei to handle any one of his top officers, Brooke, Frankie, Nami, Robin, and Chopper to handle the leftovers, and the dog himself, Luffy, to throw hands with Blackbeard. Which more than likely Luffy will enter Gear 5 and stomp, bro. Now, kids' crew, sure, he might got that one. But why, bro, faking like him and his crew built to take the entire Straw Hat crew? Like, take your cap off, because that's all you're doing. So Blackbeard got to talking about finessing Law at his role Poneglyphs. But Law's like, oh yeah, it's time to get active. The winner takes all. And Blackbeard looking devious as hell. So Law commands his crewmate Hakugan to take charge of the polar tank while Sachi and Penguin heads into sea. And I'm just looking at Law's lineup like, damn, Ro really deserves better. Like, I get his crewmates handy and all that, but like, where's the real hitters for real? Why Law don't have a Zoro or Sanji type nigga on his crew? A dog that can get active in the field alongside his captain. I guess bro's crew will be too OP with a few warlord to Yonko level crewmates. But that just goes to show how crazy broken that nigga Law is, I suppose. So Law sends Reroom in Blackbeard's direction slicing the horse in half in order to send Blackbeard falling into the sea. But Law's no fool, he knows that's not enough. So Blackbeard gets to cheesing, you know he's prepared to cook up something devious. So bro uses his quake technique crushing part of the island floor obliterating mountains in the process. Panning over to the other side of things. Doc Q and his horse still falling, and bro's word his horse has been boomed for good, but bro's still living. So Doc Q got in the mix and sends exploding apples down towards Law's crewmates. But remember when Law commanded his crewmates to take certain actions before things got wicked? Bro really made a 200 IQ strategic play preparing for the setup. And Sachi and Penguin locked in the Chico for aimbot sniping every single apple in the sky with water bullets before it even touched the ground. 
and Doc Q shocked as hell cause they snipe game elites and Hakugan makes his way to Blackbeard's ship but speaking of snipe Law prepares to snipe Blackbeard out the air and Von Ogre pulls up thinking he's Sneak Nation certified but Panda got ears and commands Jinbar to defend their captain so bro pulls up for the save and Law coats his sword with K-Room and snipes Blackbeard and look at bro he swear he's okay but Law's like oh nah nigga you thought and booms bro with Shock Willie and Von Ogre's like you see this is what happens when you try to get active without a plan now look at you bro had turned you into a meat skewer and now you're back where you started being sun falling from the sky once again do you want to go back to the ship cause things is not looking good for you big fella nah my boy we gotta see it through and keep pushing I bet say no more and Law's looking around like where did he go where could he be the world may never know Blackbeard drops down from above breathing hard as hell like I know bro breath stinks and Law's like all your top officers are devil fruit users so they're all weak against the sea so bro must have been plotting to boom the entire area to get all of them gone at once now I see why bro don't have devil fruit users amongst his crew besides himself cause bro wants to boom the whole battlefield when things get wicked bro kinda remind me of Megumi low key but panning on the other side of things Sachi Penguin and Hakugan starts to attack Blackbeard's ship now pause real quick cause I know this video was supposed to be solely focused on Law and his crew versus Blackbeard and his crew but man this scene was so cold no pun intended that I had to cover it so Pudding has been captured by Blackbeard's crew and as a viewer I'm thinking to myself exactly how did she get captured I get that big mom's out of the picture but how is bro gonna pull up to any of the islands surrounding whole cake with all those heavy hitters big mom had in her crew but damn it's worse than I thought it was just a two-man raid by Von Ogre and Kuzan at one of the islands surrounding whole cake named Cacao Island where Pudding resides in its town known as Chocolate Town which Kuzan had left on froze along with its people which then they had confronted Cracker and we already know how strong Buddy was even Luffy Gear 4 wasn't enough so bro had to get big and send bro flying but Von Ogre warps and starts making light work of all Cracker's soldiers and it's crazy cause it took a much stronger Gear 4 Luffy who once previously split an entire country's town with only the impact of Doflamingo falling to the ground from his punch to take down Cracker's soldiers and here you have Von Ogre's bullets handling them with ease bros loaded with country level bullets them shits would eliminate the Naruto verse no shade though no shade but yeah Kuzan pulls up with the most crisp of animation Toei had the animators in overtime for this scene they did your boy Kuzan justice for black history month and with that Kuzan made light work of Cracker and Brulee pulls up in shock cause Cracker has been defeated and with that Pudding has been successfully captured now I'm not gonna hold you I like Von Ogre's ability of being able to warp and on top of that being a demon with a sniper that's live as hell not gonna lie but panning back to the present and onto the battlefield Blackbeard uses his quake technique but Law gets out the way and tries to boom Blackbeard but they clash with Law looking confident as hell cause he knows this free eats but Blackbeard's like I'm only using 50% of my power head ass and sticks out his hand which caught Law by surprise and Blackbeard unleashes Black Vortex and with that everything darkens and the battle is now over now back to what I said Law's crew good and all but if he had at least one or two powerhouses that's near his level on his team to help him get out of sticky situations like how Zoro Sanji and now Jinbei are to Luffy bro's crew would be even more solid and he wouldn't have much to worry about going into battle cause as I see it Law is always having to carry some not to mention bro's his own ship's navigator doctor and powerhouse bro really three in one but hey Law is still a W man's with a W crew now with that being said whether you're from TikTok or YouTube don't forget to drop a like and follow and subscribe in EB. we moving also i'm taking recommendations bro so hit the comments and more hit on the way